most of what we looked at today has been some cool season plants. This is a, a warm season plant that we, we're looking at. Even though all legumes technically are cool season plants, uh, this is a legume that grows very well in the heat of summer. This is Korean Lespedeza. Uh, don't confuse this with Cerisia Lespedeza, original noxious weed. Uh, this is an annual, very palatable to grazing animals. It's got some neat characteristics to it. And I think it's uh, something that probably we should be using more of, um, both in, in annual mixtures and in perennial pastures. It does reseed itself very well. It's a good seed producer. It'll produce seed even when it's grazed. It's very low growing. Never looks tremendously impressive. Uh, but almost all of its production comes in July and August when a lot of other things, especially legumes, just kind of fizzle out. One of the few uh, uh, legumes that really do well in the heat of summer. Um, very nutritious forage. Um, it's kind of got wiry stems, but grazing animals just wrap their tongue around that, pull the leaves off, and get a diet of just nothing but leaves. This is really rocket fuel as far as animals are concerned. Also has a very high percentage of dry matter, so it's it's not washy or watery like a lot of other legumes. Um, animals get a very high dry matter intake without a lot of bites off this stuff. Uh, one other characteristic that is really, really unusual amongst legumes, and that's that this is quite tolerant of 2,4-D. So a lot of people say, well, I just want an all grass mix uh, because I've got these weeds I need to take care of. You know, I just want sedan and millet. I don't want any cow peas. I don't want any mung beans. I don't want sun hemp because I've got these pig weeds and I need to take care of them. If you would like to retain the flexibility of being able to spray out some of your broadleaf weeds with 2,4-D but still have a legume in the mix, this is one that can work for you. It's uh, one that I think we ought to be using more of.